Body bags were horror lies. Hey everybody, welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Friday host, Matt, from You and Your Horror Movies, and thank you for checking out this review. We are doing, we are coming back to doing themed weeks. What we're going to be doing is, at the end of each month, we'll be doing a, some type of uh, themed horror week, and go from there. And Derek brought it up, and we all thought it would be a good idea, because back when we were doing themed weeks, we, got, we had a huge list. Every week was a different type of theme week. Here, kind of, okay, do what you want for a couple weeks, third, fourth week, themed week. And Derek came up with the idea, so he came out with Asian horror. Go figure. It's Derek loves his Asian horror films. <laughs> so I got a little mini TV show to review for you. It is called... Oh, I'm horrible saying with Asian names, so I'm going to do my best not to ruin it. Kazuume's Horror Theater. Now, if you think of this as a Masters of Horror for Asian horror fanatics. So if you're like J-horror, this is... A great thing to have into your collection. Now, Kazu Ume is a pretty much a Japanese horror manga writer. He's into comics. He's done some musician work. Uh, he's done some a little bit of acting, but it's mostly into his horror manga there, which is Asian comics. Um, and each of these are based off his comics done by different directors. Now, if I'm going to show you here. I am not going to say all these freaking names, all right? <laughs> but you have directors from The Grudge, Juwan, The Great Yokai War, uh, Samurai Fiction, Death Trance. So you have different directors directing all different type of films in this little box set. There's only six episodes, and they run about an hour. Um, no English uh, words. You have to use English subtitles. So... But anyway, the one I'm going to be reviewing is the Season 3. If I get it out of the box, it'll be a lot easier for you. So this is the single loan disc. Uh, this is Kaze Ume Theater 3. The two stories are called The Present and Death Make. Now, with this, you have uh, The Present. This is directed by uh, Yundai Yamaguchi. He did Battlefield Baseball, writer of Verses. So with him, this is a Christmas slasher, pretty much. Pretty neat. Pretty much you have a bunch of college kids, uh, drunk, disorderly, you know, going through the city. At the same time, this, this parents are talking to a little girl about Santa Claus. You know, be good. If Santa will be good to you, he'll bring you presents. So she's all into Santa. The two somehow work together, kind of. When, because I don't want to spoil that, but when the college kids come to this weird ass hotel, they decide to spend the night because it's a long track home, it's getting cold, whatever. Well, come to find out, there is a twisted Santa Claus living in this facility, and he's a psychopath. I think he's the only American in this uh, episode, and he doesn't say a damn word. And he pretty much hacks up your teenagers or your college students, whatever they are, and <laughs> brings them home in red bags. His weapon of choice is this star. Like, you know, you have the star on the Christmas tree. Put that to a chain. You got yourself a pretty nasty weapon. So, of course, he starts taking them out one at a time in pretty gruesome ways. It's pretty gory. And uh, the little girl that um, was, was told about Santa Claus, there is a connection between the two. I'm not saying what because I don't want to spoil it, but it was kind of cool near the end how everything came together. It was kind of getting weird at the end, but, but the whole slashing aspect was pretty cool. And if you like holiday slashers and Christmas horror, you need to get this for your collection for Christmas horror. Now, the second one called Death Make. Death Make was directed by Tachi. Tachi? Tachi? Well, uh, whatever. Sorry, I'm saying horrible with these names. What Death Make is pretty much, uh, 10 years ago, five girls went missing in this uh, warehouse. So now, 10 years to the present, this TV show host gathers up several psychics. 
to go into this facility to try to find what happened to these girls and put a little ease on what the hell's going on because these girls just disappeared. While they're getting introduced to all different five psychics, this weird mask appears that they find. It's a weird, like, fish-like type of mask. Well, there is a connection with this mask and the facility they're at and what the psychics use with their psychic powers. Somehow develop in either conjure a creature, they go into a different world, um, netherverse, hell, whatever you want to call it. It's just weird, but it's interesting. Uh, I don't want to say much into it, but when they get into this uh, weird, twisted facility, it's pretty cool. Um, again, like I said, it's your interpretation of how you want to deal with it, but I recommend it. Now, that's my review for Season 3. I said, there's only two seasons, uh, two episodes per disc, and each one I think runs an hour long. And, uh, <clears throat> well, it's approximately... Oh, actually, no. It's 97 minutes, so give or take, you got your between the two. Um, you have what you have. I uh, have widescreen. It's in Japanese audio with English subs. Uh, they have some special features uh, for uh, Death Note. No, Death Make, sorry. They have making of the horror theater, interviews, and trailers. So they got that. I think that's for both of them, if I remember correctly. So each one has special features to it, too. Now, if you want to go in the other ones, I suggest getting the whole box set. The box set's really good. This one has Snake Girl and The Wish. Like I said, I won't review those much because um, I'm reviewing the last two. And the first one here is Diet and House of Bugs. <laughs> House of Bugs is very interesting. Uh, the box set is not badly priced. I highly recommend checking it out because Tokyo Shock put out the box set. So, you know, with Tokyo Shock, you get some pretty good stuff in here. Again, this was a, I'm going to say it's like a Masters of Horror TV anthology from 2005. So, you're not going to get like all the weird nudity. You're not going to get this insane amount of gore and blood because it was made for TV. But you have uh, six episodes here done by different directors. And if you love J-Horror, this is a definitely must in your collection. Um, out of a possible 10, just for uh, disc 3, I'll give them an 8 out of 10. They're fun to watch. Um, so yeah, definitely check out this box set. If you guys want me to do the other two, let me know or let someone else know and we can review those. I have the whole box set so I can review them all. <laughs> I know a couple of people do too as well. But check out Kaze Ume's Horror Theater from 2005. From Tokyo Shock, guys. Again, thanks very much for watching. Please check out no one else's out review and have yourself a good one. Peace.